Everyone, welcome back to How Tech. Today, we're going to show you how to add and remove a contact on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Actually, the same on the Pro and the non Pro and the Max and the non Max. Uh, and it should be the same with anything running the latest iOS. So, uh, how to get to your contacts? There's actually more than one way. Um, the hard way nowadays, they hide it, but there is an address book, which is this guy. It looks like an address book with someone's silhouette and some tabs and it's basically called co contacts in this case, or you can go to the phone and then you'll also see contacts here. So that's the one I use more. And since this is a brand new phone with nothing in it, we have no contacts. So let's create a new contact. You can click here or you can also click here. So if you have a bunch of names, you won't see this one, but you can click here no matter what. So let's just add our favorite generic name, Joe Blow. And you can add his company. And now you can put in his phone number and let's add that. And here you can actually add a label. So you can call it his like home number, his work number, his school number, etc. So let's change it to his home number. Uh, and then you can add multiple phones, including whatever, his home fax number. So yeah, it doesn't require you to put in a certain number of digits. It just kind of auto formats it depending on what you put in. Um, it's same thing with email. In this case, you can, you know, type in whatever. And you have other options, including now pronouns. I think that's new. I didn't remember that one before. Um, the fun part for me is you can actually set um, unique ringtones for people as well as text tones. This is really cool because that means if you get a, a phone call from your boss, you'll know exactly who it is calling when you hear that ringtone because you've hopefully set it to be something different. Or, you know, you could pick the same ringtone for all the people whose phone you don't want to pick up, for, for, for example. Or you could kind of, I don't know, pick two or three ringtones and there's some that are important and some are easy to ignore. Um, and then the same thing with the text tone. So if you get a text message, uh, you know, an iMessage from your friend who is important or your girlfriend, you'll know to check it. And if it's from your boss, maybe you skip it until tomorrow. Um, you can also add website. You can add addresses. You can add birthdays. You can add, uh, you know, I guess other important dates, anniversaries, etc. And then all kinds of extra data. And you can even put in notes. So let's, I don't even know what this is going to type. If you wanted me to, I, whatever. So that's whatever it auto picked for me. And you can actually add uh, additional fields that didn't fit on there. And there's a bunch of other options like the pronunciation of their last name or maybe their maiden name, etc. So very interesting. Uh, the other important one is obviously you can add a photo. So this will pop up when the person calls you. And I guess it's a representation of that. If they're right in front of you, you could take a photo right now when I'm adding them. You could add their monogram, in this case, JB. Um, but let's do a photo. So I'll just pick a photo I took with this when I was outside today. Um, and so if that's Joe's house and I want that to pop up when Joe calls me, um, I can pick different styles, I guess, and I can even adjust uh, the text here, but it should be his name. I can't adjust the, the, the text that appears here. Um, so yeah, that's done. And so now that's what's going to show up when Joe Blow calls me. And I can set the, like the thumbnail for that ID and I can even adjust it. So just the awning shows up. So here we go, and now that's what it looks like. Actually, the photo shows up here at the uh, kind of the header of the page, and also that's like the thumbnail version of them. And so when I bring up the calendar now, and I click on Joe Blow, it will look like this, and I can have the shortcuts to call them, email them, etc. And all that same information I put in there is still there. So that's how to add them. If I want to remove them, um, I have a couple choices. I think I can just hold here. And it'll be a shortcut to message them, call them, etc. but also delete the contact. So, um, yeah, if you want to delete it, you can do it that way. I believe if I have enough contacts, there's a way to do multiple at once. But since I only have one right now, um, basically, you shouldn't be erasing multiple people at once, right? Um, so anyway, you have that option. You can also copy. You can make that your, like, card. So, in other words, set that identity to be the owner of the phone. So anyway, so that's how you add and remove a contact 
and set a custom ringtone and a photo for someone on an iPhone 15 Pro Max and Pro and regular and I guess 15 Plus as well. So that's it for today. See you guys next time here on How Text. If you have any other questions or want to see specific videos, leave them down below in the comments. Bye. Everyone, welcome back to How Text. Today I have a deep purple iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to insert and remove a physical SIM. So before we start,